Welcome back to the show, everybody. It's episode 310 of Canada's Daytime Sports Talk Show. And there's another fly. If you're watching my eyes, there's another fly in the bunker. The one from yesterday died. You killed another one this morning. Yes. It's fly season here on the prairies, everybody. Is it ever? Oh, yeah. They're all over the place. Uh, Breaking news. Montreal Canadiens acquire goalie Jake Allen and a seventh-round pick in 2022 from the St. Louis Blues for 2023rd and seventh-round picks. We need to examine this. Clark tells me Twitter's ablaze. Does it mean Carey Price is on the way out? Does it say, does it mean the Habs have $15 million tied up in goalies? Has Mark Bergevin spoken about this yet? Have we heard from the Pope himself? I don't think so. Not yet. Let's see. Let's see from the GM of the Canadians what he's doing. I'm not a Jake Allen fan, though. If this is what if this is the future and goal for the Montreal Canadiens, I'm not about it. If it is, it's short term. I mean, Jake Allen's already 30, and Carey Price he's 33, and he just signed that eight year deal in in uh, I think 2017 at a 10 and a half million dollar cap hit. So there's still term there left on Carey Price's deal, unless they're going to try and ship him and, and go cheaper. And then, yeah. But far too early to start speculating on Let's that. Let's let but the it, GM explain it. But, yeah, it's getting everybody It's a big hot. deal. To the uh, viewer board, Gary Olinkin in Winnipeg watches is, is watching. He says, Labor Day, CFL Sim, game times for doubleheader. Thank you, Gary, for asking. And don't forget, we're going to get to the betting lines yes. for this week's CFL Sim eSports games. Uh, 1 p.m. Mountain, it'll be Saskatchewan, Winnipeg on Monday. 4 p.m. Mountain, that's almost double header now that I think. Well, there's like a break in between, about an hour break in between. Calgary, Edmonton, 4 p.m. Mountain on Facebook Live, the RP Show Facebook Live channel. Sports update, Thatcher Demko was the main reason the Canucks are still alive in the Edmonton bubble. Demko made his first career playoff start last night in place of Jacob Markstrom, stopped 42 shots and a 2-1 win over the Vegas Golden Knights, cutting the Knights series lead to 3-2. Meanwhile, Scott Lawton scored in overtime as Philly beat the Islanders 4-3, forcing at least a game six. Not upset over here. Happy there's more hockey. Yes. You understand that? Oh, yeah. The Colorado Avalanche, and there's just something about them that's they have it. Although they could lose tonight. They're going to try and stave off elimination. There's that word again. Yep. Stave off. We only hear it ever in the English vernacular in the Stanley Cup playoffs. They're going to try and stave off elimination one more time tonight when they take on the Dallas Stars in Game 6. Colorado trails the series 3-2, but came to life in Game 5 with a 6-3 win that included a five-goal first period. You just feel like if Colorado goes down tonight, they're going to be good for years. It's like the 90s avalanche again. Yes, it is. They're it, young. It's back. They're very talented. It's a good group. <laughs> Chris in Toronto, Argos fan, says, staved off elimination. There it is again. I'm going to try and stave off traffic on my way to lunch after the show today. I'm going to the pizza place I used to own. I'll let you know how it is. All right. Where they still have photos of me up in there, and I'm too shy to ask for a discount. Does my yeah? Does my discount card still work? <laughs> my wife's like, if they're gonna use your photo up on the wall, you should get a discount. I'm like, I know, but I'm afraid to ask. I don't want to be that guy. The reigning NBA champions are in trouble. Jason Tatum had 34 points as the Boston Celtics beat the Raptors 102-99 last night to take a 2-0 lead in their best of seven series. Game three tomorrow in the Disney World bubble. And ace Hin Jin Yu will face the Miami Marlins in the series finale today as the Blue Jays try and split a two-game set in Florida. Ryu has had a strong month. He's 2-0 and in five starts with a 1.29 ERA in August. This sports update for Ballers Rec Room, Saskatchewan's newest entertainment destination, and for Red Bull Canada. Red Bull gives you wings. I was thinking about this this morning. You're seeing the NFL teams in different states saying how much are going to get into their stadiums, right? Yeah. And a lot of our viewers, because we host sports trips, if you're watching this program and you don't know, every year we host sports trips. We take up to 60 people to a different sun destination for NHL, NFL, MLB, if it's on. And what I'm thinking is, although the Dolphins have reached out, even since the pandemic, to say that they want us there with our group, I just don't think... We should risk it. Yeah, I don't. We should go to Miami when things are a little better. Now, I see, I love Miami so much. I told you about it. I think I really have you salivating about it. You do. There's two different kinds of Miami. There's Golden Girls, God's Waiting Room, Miami. And then there's South Beach, mm, 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 Miami. 
And then everything in between. And like I said, the Marlins Park got rid of the aquarium. Like that was the first place that I went as soon as I walked into Minute Maid Park was to have a look at that. Yep. Uh, I believe that's what it's called because they change names all the time. But are you down if we just skip the sports trip or well, I think maybe we, we keep it in Canada this year? I don't I, know. I think we kind of have to. Um, I think we kind of have to keep it in Canada. What sports are we going to go watch? There's nothing happening yet. But that might be something we do is, is a micro trip or two. And we talk about micro trips, smaller trip. Um, we can more, go to Winnipeg. More into it where we go to Winnipeg and do the Jets and, and hang out with those guys. Or we go to Edmonton and do the Oilers. We go to Calgary and do the Flames. Or, or a combination of one or two of those. That might be kind of cool. So we'll look into something like that. I think that might be fun. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm sorry. Craig in Toronto says, perhaps the CFL is staving off elimination, but we'll come back stronger in 21, 2021. Hang on. I got so many thoughts on that. It's unbelievable. Jeff, the Stamps fan, says, Rod, shy. I don't like to ask for discounts. You know that. I want to pay my way. They have no problem putting my photo up on the wall. And the photos are of me and Deron Carter, Chris Jones. What are all of them? Luke Bryant. Yeah. Uh, the band Nazareth. Uh, the entire BC Lions football team. The premier of the province. Eddie Steele, like there's some great photos. They're still on the wall. I don't oh, know if yeah. you've been down there or not. I haven't, but I, I, I don't. I don't like to ask for a discount. It's just me. I'm sorry. James Henderson says I am really starting to love the show. Kind of started watching just to see what the enemy was up to. Now I watch every day. I don't know what to say about that. We're, we're happy to have you. We're very inclusive. And for the guy, the Stamps fan that can't believe that. I'm shy. I don't think I'm the same off the air that I am on. There's a little bit of show here. Would you agree? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit, but it's not fake. It's not a fake show. No. Um, There's yeah, an entertainment factor. It's, it's interesting. Like, confidence, outgoing, introverted. They're all kind of different. It, I know. People get, think you have to be one or the other. Well, if you're outgoing, if you're shy, then you're not outgoing. I'm an extroverted introvert. It's been diagnosed as such. Exactly. But as my friend Jim Lang says, Canada's foremost NFL Expert, you're one of a kind. Uh, viewer takeover next. We do have to pause. We'll be right back. It's the RP Show. Canada's daytime sports talk show continues after this on Game Plus TV Network. And you're listening and watching around the world on the Rod Peterson Broadcasting Network. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media. 